Welcome to Lizard People. This is a show where we talk all about conspiracy theories, crazy people, and kooky ideas about what's going on behind the scenes. I'm your host, Caitlin Hempstead. Let's get to the show. video yet no oh man it's called milfs Uh-oh. and it's just her and a bunch of hot hollywood moms pouring milk on their tatas what, what the fuck <laughs> i highly recommend it it's a real thing it's, it's a real lives. yeah yeah it's a real music video i don't know about that yeah i think it's like brand new you heard it here first <laughs> do you have can i get internet so i can pull this up <laughs> <laughs> you while we're to. talking i'm just watching <laughs> milky tatas <laughs> Milky tits. Milky tits. Why is that's weird? Yeah, I mean, I don't like that. The no. shtick is like there's a hot young milkman driving through the milf town USA, and it's just like Alessandra Ambrosia, just like. <laughs> I don't even know who you, the name you just said. So. I am not sure that I do either, and I think it might be the wrong name. But what are you gonna do, models? Models. Uh, our guest today eating a donut, looking oh. fresh to death. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you can't hear it. Um, Mark David Christensen, very funny improviser, very funny guy in general to be around. Oh, thanks. Um, uh, big, big fan of your work. So pumped you're on the cast. Even though you're a big fan of my work, but you didn't know that I get naked all the time. I stage. didn't know that you get naked, <laughs> but I didn't know that that was like a shtick of yours. I don't, is it a shtick? I've just done it so many times that I think I'm known <laughs> as that guy now. But like, what do you go into like a like a sketch show and improv show and be like, I'm looking to get my weighing out? No, I don't look for it that way. Because to me, it has to. I mean, probably last I did a bit last night that I got naked. That was probably mostly shock. Yeah, I'll be honest. I think the other ones prior to that have been like sort of earned tasteful nudity. I, I would never call it tasteful, <laughs> but because the original one was a sketch written by Adam McCabe back when I was on Mod Night at UCB, and it was just. I played Mr. Rogers coming out singing the song, and instead of just changing my sweater and my shoes, I just got naked, <laughs> and then put and then put the same outfit back on, sat down and said, "This, the, you know, I'm Mr. Rogers. This is my final show. Blackout." Oh, it was a great man. sketch that Adam McCabe had written. I like that a lot. That's so when I got to the funny. team, they're like, "This sketch needs nudity. Is anybody willing to do it?" And I was like, "It's funny. Why? Well, yeah, of course I'll do it." Yeah. I was more scared to sing on stage in front of a crowd. Than I was to get naked. Really? Yeah, I hate, uh, I can't. I mean, I've done musical improv now, but I still don't think I'm good at it. Yeah, I, I mean, just, I, I think that if you think you're good at singing, you're an asshole. It's like a pretty general rule of humanity. Yeah, that's why, I, like, karaoke, <laughs> it can be fun, but then it also can be one of my biggest aggravations. Yeah. Like, I like karaoke where everyone's, like, kind of in, into it together. Yeah. Anytime I'm around somebody that's, like, a good singer, like, is showing their chops. Yeah. While karaoke, I'm like, Fuck this activity. Here's the this one exception, now. though. I did go out to karaoke with a bunch of friends who are like legit musical theater actors in New York City. Okay. And it's it's everyone being on board because yeah, yes. they were like showing their chops, but everyone in our group was into it. And we were at uh, not Saddle Ranch. What's the other saddle place in WeHo? They have a karaoke night. I'm not uh, familiar with all the WeHo spots. <laughs> well, get on it, buddy. Uh, <laughs> they have an amazing karaoke night, and we went, and it was like, they just tore down the fucking house, and everybody was into it, and every time one of the friends went up, they would just like slaughter it with some Sondheim, and it was pretty incredible. That's, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm all for if it's all positive, I guess. That's fine. You're just, unconvinced. But also, I, I, maybe a little after this. But well, just for me, I just don't, I guess... This is a set, this is a thing I like. I'm about to admit. Oh, buddy, That's okay. singing and choreography space. right now have become so popular that I feel they're they're not magical for me anymore. When I just hear a great vocalist, mm. I'm kind of bored. 
I'm because like, of yeah, like try- carpool karaoke or whatever yeah, or what everything i don't know if it's that but to me i'm like i like a unique voice Somebody that it feels like it's their own character yeah. versus like, yeah, that's a very well-trained voice. I can't deny it. Yeah. It's just, I'm like, meh. And that's how I kind of feel now like when I see dance sequences. Hmm. Like on my podcast, I recently watched a high school musical mm-hmm. with, with Naomi uh, Via and I was like looking at the choreography and I'm like, I don't think I like dances anymore. <laughs> like they just seem all the same bullshit. Hollywood- Ruin like dance I, for you. I guess so. I just feel like some of the choreography just feels so the same. Yeah. It doesn't, there's no magic to it. It just feels like now because it's so, I guess it's glee and all that stuff. It's just like, now it's just, a, it's part, it's everywhere. Yeah. So it's not like special anymore. It's not like you go to Broadway and see like, this is where I see great dancing, dancing and singing. music. Yeah. Now it's everywhere that I'm just like, I don't care. Yeah. Like podcasts. Yeah, like podcasts. <laughs> no, nah. just a little burn on myself. Uh, yeah, I get that. Nah, that was a weird tangent to go <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is like, let So You Think You Can Dance bring a little magic back into your life. Because it's an incredible it. show. I'm not going to Okay. Watch it. <laughs> I'm not good. I got, into, Surv- I got in Survivor this year, and I'm like, that's the only, like, this be, year in 2016. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I will never go back and watch old episodes. Okay. But I got into it this year. Wait, it's still on the, the air? Girl I was dating. What? It's still on the air? Yeah. They have a new season uh, coming. I mean, they do two seasons, I believe, a year. Two at like seasons. Yeah. So there's a new one coming later, I think, in the fall. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably watch it. Yeah. I got into The Bachelorette because of a dumb guy. Not a dumb guy. Great guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You really tried to walk through that. <laughs> And you couldn't. Oh, whoops. Let's talk about conspiracy <laughs> Yeah. This isn't a dating podcast. <laughs> two, 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 two real uh, scorn people decided two to show up today. Two lonely people. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hope that comes back in. I hope it doesn't. It will. Ugh. All right. Mark. Yes. Do you prefer Mark or Mark David? Mark David or just Dave. Okay. I don't know. Middle name guy. Always. Mm. Grew up with my, no, by my middle name. Very interesting. All right. <laughs> MDC, will you tell us what you're here to talk about today? Yeah, I'm here to talk <laughs> about the ancient astronaut hypothesis or theory. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a tight one. It's so good. Um, I'm, I'm fascinated by it because, like, it's just – history is just – any kind of history, like old ancient history is so fascinating because – I don't know. It's incredible that we've lost so much anyway mm-hmm. over history. And like, what are we going to lose? Like, what am I going to, like, if I even ever have kids down the line, their kids and all that, what are they going to lose? Right. You're going to become this like fanciful character. Yeah. You easily can. If you, if you like, you don't have to, like, if you think about it, you can live a horrible life, but then like leave things. If you plan it out right, you could just leave things that make it seem like yeah. you were more than what you were. And in 200 years, people will be like, oh, great, great grandpa Dave. Like, what a winner. And then they, they, somebody really starts to dig and they find out, oh, no, he's a failed actor. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we have the internet, so nothing's ever going to go away like it did for the Nazca culture. Right. Or it will. One day, what if the what if all of that goes away? The internet? Yeah. That'd be gnar. Because couldn't it at some point? Yeah. Oh, totally. I mean, there was a horrible CW show with a very cool premise about like, just like all technology goes away and society just 100% collapses. Right. And it's like, there's no written records. Right. I don't agree with the whole collapse thing. Yeah. Mm -mm. You don't think so? No, because I just, I think we're more resilient than that. Like, I don't, like, mm-hmm. that's why apocalypse movies drive me crazy. Because you're like, no, that wouldn't, we wouldn't fall apart that quickly. No, we wouldn't just immediately, like, oh my God, my phone, our phones don't work. Well, then I'm going to fucking eat people. <laughs> like, that is, I just don't buy it. Yeah. I don't buy that shit. I do, but only because I want to. Because <laughs> I love apocalypse movies. I'm just like, movies. what rules? Just because technology goes away doesn't mean there's rules in society that completely are thrown out. Yeah. Those rules were established before we had fucking smartphones and the internet. But society has changed so much in the last like 15 years to adapt to those things. Yeah. I don't think we can just go back to 1800s people. I'm not saying we wouldn't like sickness would suck we yeah. do we definitely we'd lose a lot of people yeah in a sense but i don't think it would be in a collapse 
of like catastrophic to the point where it's like you know it's chaos we yeah. now live in on a uh, hell Mad on Earth. max style you know. yeah yeah whatever all right but enough of that <laughs> speaking uh, of collapsed cultures that disappeared and are scary and confusing ancient yeah. astronauts yeah so uh lay out the th- theory for us yeah so the theory is um really made popular by a guy named eric von Daniken? I I don't I'm gonna pronounce his name very wrong. But, <laughs> There's a lot of German coming up, and it's yeah, gonna be yeah. butchered. Uh, yeah, I'm, oh. uh, so the theory is that that all the ancient societies that we know that we have like sort of like sparse um, artifacts from, primarily like Egyptian, the Mayans, um, some of and there, there's others that are in there, um, is that. Those cultures were actually, and all of mankind were influenced not by just like our own evolution, but aliens from another planet visited Earth and put a stamp and like influenced us. And like mentored us. Yes. Like it's not even like there's a couple of different theories within the one theory. That's what's fascinating is like there's that kind of like. Like there's some people are like, oh no, that's where our gods come from. Mm-hmm. Like that's why we have the term gods is because aliens showed up on spaceships, mm-hmm. and our and little brains couldn't quite process, process it. it. Or that's just they're like, oh, what are they? They were, and that's what they gave them. They just considered them gods, but they were actually space travelers. Yeah. So there's that. There's that that standard fear, theory, kind of like you know what I mean. Just like okay, we can just replace God and give it to aliens. Yeah. Then there's like other theories of these aliens called, and most of them, most of these people that think this call them the Anuki. Yeah. The Anuki, <laughs> which are, it's so fascinating. So the that big theory of what the Anuki is, they actually, on whatever planet they lived on, which I don't, I don't understand the whole part. Yeah, this their, one gets real planet. like Scientology-ish of like, no, it's Very. just one planet and they have this history and we can only understand it if we go back in our minds. Yeah. yeah. And... With them, apparently, the big theory is their ozone layer was depleting and dying, and apparently you can fix... I don't know. I don't care. This part I don't get because I don't understand science. Because in everything I've read, it's like... Because scientists have said that to fix our own ozone, ozone, ozone layer... It would like gold can fix it somehow. I don't understand science at all, so that doesn't make any sense to me. But that's what I've read. I think that is not science. Might be why you don't understand. Probably it. not. <laughs> You're 100 percent right. No. <laughs> uh, but apparently, these Anunnaki came to Earth to mine gold, and in that process, used us, enslaved, like the so. That's sort of like what people kind of will, or these theorists will say is that's why there's a missing link that we have where it's like, oh, there's the Neanderthals and then us, mm-hmm. Homo sapiens, mm-hmm. is that they came down. In order to save us, though, they needed to like, they, bre- either they, either one, one theory is they just messed with us. They genetically were like, we're going to make them better. Yeah. Or you know what would or- be fun is to just fuck around with these chimps. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's like, okay. And then the other one is that they came down, they saved us, but, um, and oh, I, I want to get in further into this because this is where like people will like, will cite Bible and say that there's yes. presence of, of aliens and this happening. But then the other theory is they actually bred with us. Mm-hmm. And then therefore the two, the com- the hybrid is what we are. Mm-hmm is that that's where Homo sapiens come, is that there were a higher being bred with a lower being and then made us. Mm -hmm. So we're just, you know, the mediocre. Like the Bible thing about being in between the angels and the animals. and Yep. yep. So like angels, like that's the big thing is like... uh, Oh, angels are as thick as thieves in this, all across this theory. In every aspect of it, angels just keep coming up. Yep. And like that's what they cite is like, oh, the angels are actually just aliens. Yeah. And then, I mean, there's so much. Uh, I, I, where should, there's I, I'm too try, much. I'm this could to be disperse. a seven hour podcast. I agree. Because there's so much that you can just like break down from history and be like, well, that's what they say is an alien. That's yeah. what they say an alien is. And I was, when I was reading into it, I was like, if we start going like point by point or artifact by artifact, we're going to be here for an entire day. So, we really will. But like, I do, there's a few that I do want to pull out because they kind of crop up a lot in like the oh, mainstream please. stuff. Oh, please. 
uh, I didn't make a I didn't make a, a clear game plan. I was just coming in, going, <laughs> I want to talk about it all. That's okay. This is, what this is for is just for two people to get hyped on a conspiracy theory. I, this and is scream one of those. About it. Can I say though? I think this is a theory that I wish is true really bad. Yeah. Like I, hmm. there, there's a, my heart of all hearts. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like I can't say that I believe in it, but there's a small corner of me going, I do because I want it to be true. Hmm. Like I like the idea that we, that some alien showed up and fucked with things. Yeah. Like, like that gods aren't just. Because to me, I mean, I don't know if you guys are religious. I don't know, or listeners, who care? I'm, I'm, I'm like, who cares? Who cares? I don't give a shit about your beliefs. But I, I, I kind of don't because like you can believe whatever you want to believe. That's that, but it comes down to that. I don't believe in like a deity or all that. However. This stuff, as much as we're like, you'll giggle about it and be like, that's absurd, an alien. I'm like, that's as absurd of anybody telling me there's a fucking God. Yeah. Or they're like, oh, angels are watching over us. If you pray, they're going to make your life better. I'm like, no way. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm with you, and it made me feel shitty about it. Because I, <laughs> I was at a very beautiful religious wedding yesterday. I was, like, studying up on this in the morning, and then in the afternoon I went to a very Christian wedding, which was gorgeous. But they just kept talking about Jesus. Ugh. And I was like, man – what a bummer that like Jesus is getting involved in a wedding ceremony. And then I was like, no, a wedding is a religious ceremony, you dope. Like, but it doesn't have that's to what be. This is for. No, it doesn't have to be. But I mean, I think it's just very interesting that it's just like, for me, God is just like, a, oh, this again, boy, oh boy. Like, oh, I, 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 I was raised Mormon and there was a couple ooh. of, yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very interesting. Okay, let's get into the therapy part of the podcast. <laughs> Uh, who cares? I don't, I, I don't think Mormonism uh, broke me as much as like I other like Catholic kids that I know grew up like Catholic. I know some stuff. broken I feel like that Catholics. really broke. Yeah, I feel yeah. like that, I don't know how that religion just totally broke what people. Is it? And I don't even think of it as that vital of a world religion anymore. Even really, it re- I mean, it's definitely present, but it's not what it used to be. Right? Yeah, because I think we have one because we're just a culture that I think. I'm going to I'm going to say I think Spits 20 years truth. or more from now yeah. religion's on its way out. You think? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's going to stay around in the sense of like Scientology and things that are sort of new and it'll be dispersed, but I wouldn't be surprised if it starts to fade more and more. But what about all the evangelicals who like appeared in the last 30 years? They're just crazy people. <laughs> and they're crazy people. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, but they are. Like <laughs> they 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 they're the most hateful people in the world and all they what makes me ma- more mad about them. I'll sit down with somebody that believes in this stuff all the time. Yeah. Especially if they're coming from a place of love. Like they're like, "Well, this thing is like helps me understand what like what the meaning is. It yeah, helps me love Jesus other people. Helps, yeah, like makes me a better social activist or whatever yeah. the fuck. Yeah. As soon as you put on a, a banner that says God hates something, yeah. I'm like, bullshit. Yeah. You hate it. Just admit it. Don't put in your made up God or the God you whatever. Yeah. Don't bring that in the, don't put it on that thing. Take ownership of your own hate. Yeah, I hate you F it, words. those things those things should I hate blank. Yeah. That's what it should say. But I also don't want to lump in the crazy uh, fundamentalists with the whole. I feel like there are evangelicals who are like. Oh, I the just evangelicals love Jesus. are they the ones that are like? Yeah, they have they're the big like shows, but they've been yeah, around for years. Yeah, I mean this is true, but I think that there's been. I just don't think religion's going away because I think it's a fundamental part of our brains. Where do we? Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> I want us just, and I don't think. That or just science needs to have more of a predominance. Yeah, I agree with that. In the that. sense that, like, they should be paired together. I don't understand. I like. Yeah, I don't think there's a conflict like, there. But I hate that most people, like, will, like religious people, just will be like, I don't believe in science. And I'm like, why? If you believe in a God, all that science yeah. does is show you how he did it. Yeah. If you believe in a God. Do you want to hear a fun statistic? Yeah, please. The majority <laughs> of Christians in this country, like, well over 50%, believe self-identified Christians, believe that Christians are persecuted in America. <laughs> it's that whole war on Christmas bullshit. Yeah, dude. Same thing. I, I bet. Ugh, I don't like that at all. Yeah. No, you were persecuted. You've never been persecuted. You people disagree with you. Yeah. Yeah, that, which is scary. Everyone gets like disagreed that. with. Yeah. Yeah. 
You're Yikes. not persecuted. Nobody has ever shut down and said you cannot celebrate Christmas. Yeah, right. No one has like been burning Christmas trees. I'm gonna, <laughs> like I'm gonna kick down your door. <laughs> like, yeah. Take my menorah, light your Christmas tree with the flames. Yeah, like give me a scream in your children's faces. Santa's not real, and then I'm gonna run out. Yeah, and you know Santa's not real anyway. Oh no! What if you, there's children listening? Your, to your this? holiday has lies in it anyway. So <laughs> shut up. The nice, like. Back off. Your holiday is made of lies. Uh, All right. Let's right, well, okay. circle back to this theory. <laughs> you got me off on so many tangents. Yikes. That's just how I am. Mm. Um, I think people who are very religious have already tuned out of this podcast many, many episodes Oh, ago. probably. Yeah. That's probably true. <laughs> That's it's, okay, We're right? skeptics. All right. Let's talk about where this theory came from. Do you have any sort of like historical sources? My, it's been around forever. I don't know if I have the, mine mainly what, I only know who brought it to the mainstream, which mm-hmm. was Eric Vaughn. And it's hilarious because his, what really, and I was watching it uh, last night and this morning, trying to finish it up. There's a old like uh, NBC TV documentary mm-hmm. that, um, or it, what, who, the guy that played um, Home Improvement. Not Tim Allen. Not Tim Allen. Uh, what's his? What was his sidekick's name? Oh, on, uh, on Wilson. Ho- Not Wilson. No. Al. 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 The actor that plays Al hosts a show oh, what? where they they yeah called Ancient Astronaut Hypothesis. The chair. It's called Chariots of the Gods, which is, which the, is book the book based the Eric von D- Naken. What? Oh, yeah. Boy. Uh, he wrote, and it's just going through all the different artifacts of like, ooh, look at this. Why is this? This mystery probably means it was aliens. Mm-hmm. We can't explain those heavy blocks that were up at the top of a pyramid. Yeah, aliens. They're like, oh, this 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 weird design. There's no way that somebody could design this. Yeah. They had to be informed by aliens. Yeah. So, so do you have about- more? Uh, 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 sorry, I mean, I did research. I didn't. I did no, my no, job. no. I know I you did. did. I know you did. I just didn't. I never found anything that was like that said. Oh, this is the first Where time people talked from. about. Well, I got. But if you I, did, that's fascinating. I went down a real rabbit hole with the book um, because oh, uh, I agree with you that I think that's the first time that it was like really brought to the mainstream. Yes. Uh, and I found out one that the editor of the book was a former uh, gold star member of the Nazi party. Of course, <laughs> love Nazis on this show. They always show up, uh, and he was the editor of the. Volkische Beobachter, which is the wow. Nazi Party's newspaper. So, like, the guy who wrote this was pretty loony and couldn't find a right. publisher or an editor. And after like 15 tries, the editor and publisher that he found was a Nazi. Wow. Of okay. course. Yeah. Of course he was. Sorry. There's a lot of Nazis in history, though. Don't be, <laughs> don't be too, like, I mean, come on. What, what, John, uh, Henry Ford was. Technically yeah. a Nazi yeah. in his own right. <laughs> sure did hate us Jews. <laughs> and who can blame him? We're the worst. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then also it was based on, it, a lot of that book was plagiarized from Lovecraft. I'm not surprised. Yeah. That's a fascinating thing. You do great research. Oh, thank you. Well, I started reading the book and like some You were reading the actual the book. book? There, you can find like PDF segments oh. from it online and it is a freaking trip. Highly recommend Chariots of the Gods. And then I highly recommend like there's a couple of books called like The Chariot Burns or whatever. Oh, that's his that sequels, like the, right? Yeah. Uh, and Super Gnar. Wow. Super fun. Yeah, so there's a couple of Cthulhu stories that have stuff about like it's aliens co- came to Earth and built the pyramids that are just like straight up in the book. Well, he, he's a. It's hilarious that like a lot of these things are science fiction writers. Then people go, you know, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna believe it's true. Isn't that and funny? And just stick to it. Yeah, it makes me wonder if Joseph Smith was like, you know, it would be a good story. I found some plates. Yeah. And people were like, I believe this literally. It's. I mean, essentially, yeah. I mean, that's what happened, right? I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't there either. But I mean, if you don't believe in the religion, that's what happened. Yeah. A con guy, a guy that knew how to con people, came up with a story. I mean, if it's all true, it'd be great. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What happens if you are bad in the Mormon religion? Like bad in what sense? Like you don't believe. You get uh, excommunicated. Okay. So like, but like in the afterlife, what happens? Oh, afterlife, I. My religion, I'm not very 
most verse on it because by 15 i was like i don't up buy, and out I, yeah i don't buy this stuff yeah i'll quiet i'll keep it to myself quietly but you know i was done yeah but essentially there i mean it's heaven and hell stuff but i think it's there's three kingdoms mm-hmm. in this theory which always bothered me growing up because it felt like the hierarchy of like a business <laughs> there's there's the, middle management yeah that's what management. It, there's the celestial kingdom which is the highest oh shit that's the that is like where God resides. Mm-hmm. So you can earn being in the celestial. And I think it's I'm gonna probably mess this up. Terrestrial and ter, uh, I'm gonna look it up right now. Okay. Um, I don't. Oh my, I have my phone. Duh. Uh, <laughs> but there's these three tiers, yeah. and I think one is actually Earth. So yeah. like in a sense, which the best way I could get it wrapped around my head that that Earth tier that's part of the is it's sort of like in my mind. Uh, did you guys ever read Christmas Carol? Yeah. You know how Marley show, opens the window and shows him all the cursed like uh, spirits? Mm-hmm. They're stuck on Earth. Oh, just like wandering yeah, around. Yeah, that's what I think that level is. That's like hell, I think, in more sense of... Interesting. That it's just like, oh, it's not like a fire and brimstone. It's just you're stuck to mourn and be like, I'm... Uh, oh, I'm. I was horrible and now I can't do anything about it. Mm. Oh, it's like that Dante thing where it's like heaven isn't heaven because you're like jamming an electric guitar yeah. solo on a roller coaster all day. It's because you're close to God and you feel so happy because yes. God is there. So I think that's what happens. I'm okay. very, I'm, I'm sort of, I was wrong about some of this. But like, that's <laughs> what I mean. There okay. was pre-mortal existence, then there's earth life, mm-hmm. then it's death and then life, birth, death, uh, which I don't really believe in anyway. Mm. Um, and we don't. Ever, well, it we begins don't ever at die. conception, as we all know. You know, but I just don't believe we ever die. We just, you know, whatever goes away. Okay. And I don't know where it goes, but somewhere. Great. I like calling it your whatever. Yeah, your whatever. What? So, well, because like whatever. you say, spirit, and everybody's like, but then you believe, and they're like, no, I'm just. Mm. There's an essence. You can feel your own essence. Yeah. Then there's a spiritual world, apparently. And then resurrection, final judgment. Out, you go into a thing called outer darkness. I don't know the details, mm. but then there's three kingdoms if you qualify. <laughs> the celestial, ter- terrestrial, and then celestial kingdom. Okay. It's just so fucking complicated. <laughs> it, is, it is very complicated. And I just don't, I, 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 I like, the half of that complication is just like, what, why? Why the hell is it so complicated? The history of religion is so interesting because it's fascinating to me to find out, like, why things get so complicated. Like, there are, what, like... 200 and whatever. Say- no, there's one for every day. There's like 500 saints, like Catholic saints. And it's like, where did they all come from? And why do they have these backstories? And yeah. like, yeah, it's real and, fun. Yeah, it is. It's, I think religion is very fun. Yeah. But yeah, I have to approach it sort of like the same way as I approach science fiction or anything. Hmm. If He's- I don't, I'm like, I'm just going to be like, I'll just get frustrated. Yeah, I get mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, back, back again. Let's <laughs> Speaking swing of it back. science fiction, we can do this. Okay, so then Carl Sagan promoted it. In a yeah, book. that's what I found the most fascinating Wasn't part. Wasn't that gnarly? Was that like Carl Sagan? Although he did not, he does. He specifically was saying him and a guy named by the IS Shavlovsky both. Yeah. Were like big Shavlovsky. names. We're like, yes, this is this is a possibility, but but they also were like, there's no evidence. None. And it's. Probably improbable. Yeah. And but, the book was like intelligent life in the universe. And like 15 chapters of it were just about like, here is some of the like fossilized bacteria that might or might not be a thing yeah. on a comet. But then there's one chapter that's like, I don't know, maybe that would be a cool thought experiment. Yeah. And then every, I think a lot of these theorists just took that as like a, we got the old go ahead from Carl Sagan. Yeah. And so this shit can be real. And they just, I think they dug in at that point too. Yeah. Which is insane. <laughs> but Wait, I love and that's it. That's one of the things I like it. about this conspiracy theory is that the more that people deny it, the more the believers are like, nah, man, like you're just blind to the truth. Like, I don't get that. What, who, what are we hiding it from? Yeah, that was one of my questions for you is like, why? Like, who's hiding this? Like, why is this a hidden thing? That's, I don't get that at, at all. I was watching yeah. um, that documentary with. The, I wish I knew the actor's name, Al, that was walking around with uh-huh. Eric Vaughn. And they're at Ma- this the Mayan, I don't know the names of all those, the, uh, those, play, those locations, but they're in these Mayan, like those Mayan pyramids, and there's this runway mm-hmm. kind of looking thing. And he's sort of saying, well, this actually is like, it stands, it stands in for our, our solar system. Mm-hmm. 
And on top of this one temple, there's this metal. And I, I wish I could like call mica. Mm-hmm. It's like the metal apparently used on rocket ships and stuff. At least that's what they say. It was. Mm-hmm. And he's all, apparently he's like, that was covered at one point. Now they've sold it off, but it was covered originally when they found this location. Then he's like, come look, I want to show you this. <laughs> he's like, come, come with me. Come I with wish me. you could see the hand motions like, because he's fluttering his hands but he's like, like a dancer. <laughs> but he, it's like, it's like very like, oh, and he's like, this is something the public has never seen. And I'm like, one, I'm like, you say that, but why are we being allowed right. to see it? Like, why, like, why could you bring bullshit. a video crew? Yeah, like, this is a lie because it's like, if, it, if, if anybody's trying to keep it a secret, you wouldn't be able to tell me. Yeah. And he like opens up some like, what looks like a into the ground. And he's like, and it's this bright metal. And he's like, this is Micah. This is here. Why is it here? Like, you can't mine this. This doesn't come from the region. And it's like, okay. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I get it. There's a part of me that goes like, if that's true, then yeah, I don't know where it came from. How'd they get it? But then if they just take that leap to, oh, aliens. Yeah. That's the only way. They, that's yes. the only way a human could could have gotten this metal and transported it and got it here. Yeah. The, it had to be a higher being. And here's a skeptic thing that I'm going to come at you with. If you can <laughs> defend, you can block it, or you can accept it. Oh, I'll probably accept it. Okay, probably. You're probably the worst guest. Honestly, I'm just probably. like, no, I'm open for it all. Are <laughs> you too open-minded? <laughs> Get your shit together. Uh, every single one of these is just a thing in history that people are like, hmm, that's kind of weird. And the archaeologists involved in it were like, yeah, like we don't exactly, you know, there's like rope scoring on these giant blocks, but like it would be pretty hard to lift it up this high. I'm not positive how they did it. And someone came in and went, aliens! Yes, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah. It's an art, it's a, it's a very genuine, humble archaeologist. Yeah. Having just a fake, like just having to like probably sit in front of a panel. He just got back from three years of his life digging. Yeah. And have to just admit to a room of people like, Oh, yeah, we spent quite. like thousands of dollars on research, but we don't have any answers. Yeah. Like we did this, there's some neat stuff, but I can't give you answers. Yeah, and That's... one of the articles I read was like, this is what happens in archaeology and in most historical fields. You're yeah. like, man, I wish I could explain how that was done. Don't quite know. And all of the like panel of your peers are like, yeah, that happens. Probably there's an explanation we won't know because it's lost to history. That's fine. Yeah. But like lay people get a hold of that and are like, what? These so-called experts can't explain it, man. Yeah. It's like a guy standing up in that panel and going, you know what? It was aliens. Yeah. You just won't admit it. Yeah. It's aliens. And then like storms out. And you're just like. What? And all of these PhD tenure professors are like, what just happened? <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you mean aliens? There's what no proof doing? here for an alien. Yeah. Uh-oh. You don't believe it. <laughs> uh, I want to believe it. <laughs> well, the thing okay. is, like, because there's things that are, uh, I, I'll buy into it. I just wish somebody it's like anything. I just wish there was a little more proof. Because mm. like... Uh, well, like, come at me with some of the things that make you feel like, hmm, that is weird. Oh, let me think of one. Because okay. images are the first ones, but those ones I can easily, like... And I'll put those, I'll put I those think, on the I podcast. think the most fascinating Website. one is is um, the, the, the Nazca lines. Yeah. Because that one is very baffling. Like, how... Like... The... The Nazca lines are like people probably know them. They're like the giant. Where is it located? Those I can't. Peru. Read. Yes, Peru. It's Southern. Uh, yes, you're right. Peru. That's Southern America, right? Mm-hmm. South America. South America. <laughs> in Louisiana. Yeah, in Southern America. Yeah, no one knows what happened down there. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand a lot of what uh, happens down there, but I'm from California. Probably know the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, joke over. Joke over. <laughs> yes, yeah. Serious. Let's get back to this. Uh, so these are these giant, um, like, uh, what do you call them? Figures? They're, they're, I'm going to say figures, but they're ingrained in the ground. So, but they're made to be able to see them from the sky. So like the, you probably, people have probably seen like the spider, maybe the, the, the hummingbird ones, the most notable. But they're like hundreds of feet big. Like, big. They like, literally they're built on the ground to give a view of something to something that should be looking down above. Mm-hmm. So those, I'm like, how do you know that? Like how, cause like, I mean, I, I, I don't think I could make something with at, off the top of my head 
that could be like, I need to make this look be seen from 100 feet away Mm -hmm. without having to walk away and kind of like make certain measurements to get it to be scaled right. Mm -hmm. But these people did apparently. Mm -hmm. And these are like old. Before like our main, apparently dated before like main civilization, probably back in Mayans. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why would you make such big things to be seen so high? Yeah. And what for? Yeah. That one I can't, I can't not even disperse like what so i'm like who are you communicating with yeah even if even if oh even Look if out, you y'all. believe a god yeah. if these societies like we believe a god let's make something for them mm-hmm. like sacrifices make more sense to me because it's just like oh we're doing like a ritual for them but we're building a in a sense an artifact for them to look at yeah but also well, Please go for it. Why do people feel so compelled to build, like, why do ancient cultures, and I mean probably modern cultures, but I'm not worried about that, like, why do we build things to get closer to the sky? Like, why would you, like, why, why, why were people so, why did the Aztecs build, oh, was it the Aztecs, those gigantic temples to get close to the sky? Like, the indication from archaeologists is, like, based on the pictographs and stuff that it was, like, the gods live in the sky. Yeah. So if that's something you believe, yeah, why not? For sure. Make a big thing for them but to look But where at. did that first idea come from? Oh. That's where that, that's just where they can get you. This is where these theorists no. can convince, this is where the theorists can convince me because where did that idea originate from? Yeah. Like, I get that we're a very imaginative culture. Yes. Like, as humans, we're very imaginative. Yeah. That's why some of this I immediately am like, especially like, I don't know if we'll talk about that one where it's like, oh, look at this, it's. The way he's like on his back, it's like he's in a plane. Oh, he's in a rocket ship. ship. Yeah, and that's that, a good one. I'm kind of like, I, I don't buy that because I'm like, I feel like you're filling it in. Yeah. You're going, you're looking at it going, that could be, it's never going like he is. Yeah. It's like, well, it could be. And then when there's a ton of good uh, explanations, the one we're talking about is Pakal's rocket is what they call it. Yes. And it's a figurine of like a guy laying on his back and something that kind of looks like a rocket ship. But there's like, there are, expl- there's like very clearly like the Mayan pictographs for like the world tree, the serpent yeah. god. Like it's, it's all just a whole, it's explicable. like a painting. It's like yeah. somebody making an interpretive painting and trying to d- depict life. Right. In the, That's like looking story. at like the water lilies, like, and being like, oh, water lilies in this culture were weirder. They were made of plastic. Yeah. And how did they have plastic in the 20s? Blah, blah, blah. Right. Just because it looks weird to you doesn't mean that it is like inexplicable. Yeah. And it's just, I feel like you feeling it. You're like, well, yeah. I've seen rockets. Therefore, that looks like a rocket. <laughs> yeah. So I don't buy it completely. Right. We don't have the frame of reference to be like, yeah, that's the world tree. That's what the world tree looks like when you carve it into stone. Yeah. Yeah. But with us building up towards things yeah. yeah you're saying that like oh you got it. but i'm like where did that theory start who was the first person to be like that's where they live i think that where like you know what i mean like gods are in heaven and we're down here like who was the first one who was like that's it now i can I, you're gonna probably say the sun because the sun's in i the was sky. gonna say the sun Good right because <laughs> yeah. i think that's the easiest way to debunk yeah, it yeah and say, like a lot yeah, there's of there's a fucking sun that gives us life of course, that's our God. And in a lot that's of oldest, the oldest cultures that we have, like pictographs or written language from, it's there's a sun god, right. and that's the primary god. But here's the other thing. Yeah. When did we, on top of that? So if we can, if we're gonna debunk that and say like, hey, that's because the sun and the moon were in the fucking sky. Of mm-hmm. course, they live up there. Yeah. Why did we immediately give them our form? Because we're narcissists. I love that. But at the same time, what if a fucking spaceship that came down, it was full of people that looked similar to us? <laughs> what Why they, did they look what similar if, to us? Why? Why did they have two legs and two arms? Because all of this stuff is like, oh, we like modified our bodies to right. look more like them. Like, why do they always look exactly like fucking human beings? Why on an alien planet would it be beneficial to be bipedal and have two eyes and one mouth? I don't know. Okay. I really don't know. I mean, our bodies are silly as shit. They're silly as shit. Evolution has to be doing better on other planets. I hope so. Right? Somewhere. Or they're just weird looking creatures. I hope that there's somewhere out there where no- there's like a creature that looks nothing. I mean, we have them on our planet. What am I talking about? They're animals. Octopus. We have octopi. Yeah. We have, yeah. A, we have stick bugs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stick bugs are gnar as hell. Yeah, Metal. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I, do, like, I subscribe to the 
theory of like we think of aliens as bipedal because of Star Trek because they didn't have the budget to make yeah. creatures of glowing blue gas for every episode. And it's just like you're saying we're narcissists but we're also we don't like we're just Unfortunately, we don't like dealing with things that are different than us. Yeah, it's I mean, to do it's we. In, but think about it. It's been in our culture. It's still being dealt with our culture with racism. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We immediately don't like identifying, trying to identify with something that we are not immediately can like relate to. Yeah, we're like a tribal species. And oh, 100%. different is scary. We're like wolves, man. <laughs> we're like wolves. <laughs> Everything that's not from our pack is a threat. That's very true. So. That's the only thing is like, I, want, I just want it to be true. I really <laughs> badly want it to be true. Because well, it'd be just, it would just make our world a little more interesting. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know it makes us seem like we're a dumb race, but we're not. Which still means that like from that point on, we still had to like fend for ourselves after they left, right? Because yeah. the big theory is these Inukis, they eventually bred with us. I did then, it all for a Nookie. Oh, Sorry. Ah, I'll see it. myself good out. Joke. Thank no, you. Good joke. Mm. Uh, dated, but good joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, but like, they just left. They yeah. like one day were like, Meh, "This doesn't work." But you guys, and then like, you guys can take care of yourselves. Or apparently, gave us things to take care of ourselves. Right, and we're like here. fire or whatever the hell. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, that Egyptian light bulb. What does it mean? Right. Mm. I, I wish. I, what were you gonna say? You I go don't actually know. I don't know. You go first. Uh, I was just like, I wish, I just so badly wish I could go back and like figure it out. Follow the trail of like, of it. Like, I hate, we, I mean, we can't, when, there's too much going on in your own life that you can't even focus on it. Mm-hmm. It's just like, uh, it doesn't really, it's become so meaningless now, mm-hmm. which is sad. <laughs> The beginning of man is pretty meaningless. But it no. doesn't does it help us? Okay, here's my to point find out of. where we came from. Does yeah. it help us as we are right now? No, but it's fun. I does agree. Does Shakespeare it's fun. help us? No, it's fun. Fun AF. And here's the thing about this theory. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing. I feel like. You know that quote, and I can't remember who it was, but it was like, isn't it enough to believe that a garden is beautiful without thinking that there are fairies at the bottom of it? I think it was Douglas Adams. Like, isn't it pretty fucking tight to believe that a bunch of, you know, pre-literate cultures with like no evidence of like a government bureaucratic structure were able to build these like insane gnar structures or figurines or like beautifully detailed pottery just because they worked really hard at it. I agree. I, that's the thing that the, the, the side for me of the coin. Yeah. When I go down this rabbit hole with this theory is that it immediately uh, strips like humankind of any like um not only intelligence but imaginative thought. Yeah, like creative spontaneous ability it's to like, make no, something. It's like no, no, we had to have an influence to like yeah. to actually ma- ha- allow that to happen. I'm like, but what? Why would you take that away from us? Yeah, exactly. Like well like don't you think that the Egyptians were maybe just really fucking smart and had like great social organization to yes. be able to do that? There was something in here that I I needed to research but I wanted to find out something about uh, batteries. There's like this. Oh yeah. These ancient Bag Baghdad electric batteries. I yeah. haven't been able to research it. Did you research it all? You that? know, I actually like a couple years ago heard about that and went on a reading spree about it, but I didn't come across it for this. But yeah, it was something about how like they couldn't actually power anything with them, but they're like, man, the structures in this really look like a battery. Like yeah. it really seems like it was like an electrical charge. Probably not true. I don't know. I mean, there's like... It's like somebody finding a Mike and Ike in a while. Like, they took pills. <laughs> yeah. It's a candy. Whoa. Look at this Mike and Ike. They must have... For them, a society was... Pills were... That's their... their they, All their, their food. Candy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. That Pop was a dumb, uh, dumb example. <laughs> that was a very poorly thought out example. That was fine. It worked. You did you did the thing. But I will say like um like the word Electra, like the name Electra comes from ancient Greek because they figured out that if you rub, I think it was silk with amber, like it gives off sparks. And it was like why why would you think that ancient people were so stupid that they wouldn't be like, Oh, when you rub things together, a thing happens. Let me continue to do it and do it in a more sophisticated way. Yeah. That's how our species thinks. But that's how other species think. You can teach a dog through repetition how to take 
uh, like a trick. Yeah, but that you... dog is not going to be like, hey, if I stand up on my hind legs, I can reach things. Let me build a ladder. Right. But I'm saying if a dog can do that little mm-hmm. and learn and we are more capable, then yes. Well, there's no reason why we can't ah. come up with fire. Yeah. I'm on your side. On okay, this. okay. I am. So, I felt like you had me on the ropes, man. No, I'm never going to have anybody on the ropes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you said you were working out. I don't know. I mean, I, you're yeah. fighting. <laughs> Ladies. Um, I was like, what else is there? There's so many. Yeah, all the more artif- things. All more the things. A- artifacts are what's fascinating and how they Those immediately. Are so fun. I can't wait to put a ton of pictures up on the on the Tumblr because they're all so weird. Yeah, Where's and I love, one? like, there's one that I like that's, like, from Indian, like, how they talk about the Ramayana. Talks yeah. about, like, people in flying ships, yeah. actually. At least that's what the, it could be poorly translated. Yeah. But they're like, ooh, they're in flying ships. Um, Even if they weren't gods, I just like the idea that somebody had a flying ship before the Wright brothers. It's so steampunk. Yeah, like, there's something like, why couldn't, I guess. Well, Da Vinci. Da Vinci, yeah, he thought of it, right? Yeah. Before, I, 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 I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I just feel like I'm not doing my job right of, like, trying to defend this theory. <laughs> <laughs> I am being very aggressive, to be fair, because this one makes me pumped as hell but i feel like i'm weak anyway because like i don't i like i'm halfway like i have my foot in it and have and like the rest of my body's out of it yeah but but um, what's the foot in tell me about the foot in stuff we talked some yeah. about how it makes the world more magical yeah it definitely makes it i, I if it was true it'd just be it'd just be a fascinating history and i just um, i can't figure out why we would hide it that's the thing I don't like. It's like yeah. you can't you can't lay out to me well, to read these. None of these theorists are like this is why we this has been kept a secret from us. Yeah, even with all the different branches, I feel like they all kind of skirt away from that. Even on the hardcore websites, it's like there's a huge plethora of evidence that's like hmm, that is pretty weird, but no foundational like. And this is why you don't know about it. Yeah, like why would even if our government knew this? Yeah. Why? What's the what's the benefit from the government keeping this, the historical history of an alien race, um, helping us? Yeah. What? What? I can't. Why would that? Why would? What would that change? For, and I what would that change? This, what yeah. would that change? Right. If, if we, we were like, oh, there were aliens. Cool. I'm pretty sure we'd still like get up and go to work and go to school and. Our like, life would be s- the same mundane pain. Yeah. That's all it would be. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, you were going through some shit. <laughs> That's all it would be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's game this out. Like, if you were a, uh, um, oh God, I know this is going to come back to the damn Illuminati. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you were the government. Maybe you would be like, "Uh uh-oh, if people realize that aliens came to Earth to save us, maybe they'll stop trying or like... I don't don't buy that. Yeah. Just because of our nature. Yeah. Our nature throughout, like, if we... The the history that we do know on this Earth, uh, we've come through a lot of bullshit. Like, we have records of medieval times, right? Mm -hmm. That seems like the worst. Real real crummy. Yeah, like, nothing was clean. (laughs) Nothing. And I'm not a germaphobe, but I would have been like, whoa. Yucky. Like, but we made it through that. Mm -hmm. We made it through. There's tribes that have, like, cultures that don't have what we have in America Mm -hmm. that are still functioning. So I don't, I still don't agree with that because if you were to find out, like, Oh, back in whatever, like, 4 BC, uh, Jesus was an alien? He showed up and he was just like, and he gave us all these things, and he was just an alien from another world and then went away, but he gave us all these great things. I don't think that changes now how I think of the world. It gives me a history. Yeah. It just makes me go, oh, like, there, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the, the same as you telling me, oh, we, uh, we, Los Angeles used to be a Spanish state. Originally, mm-hmm. in California. Mm-hmm. Then, oh, during the Mexican Independence War, me- became a Mexican state. And, okay. Then in the Mexican-American War, it became regular. That doesn't change the fact that I get up every morning I live in California. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't look Not back and like, toast and- oh, my God. You know, today, you know, do you realize that this used to be a Spanish country? <laughs> yeah. That's how we got our start. Yeah. Real depressing, right? No, not at all. <laughs> 
So if an alien helped us, it would not change a goddamn thing. <laughs> so it's true. It's okay. true. <laughs> Aliens helped us because it wouldn't change a thing. You got me. There's no you difference. There's no difference. <laughs> Oh, great. There were aliens. They're never coming back. Let's just keep living our lives. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. <laughs> it really would. Yeah. And when they show up, if they do fucking show up, what is it going to change other than the fact that like it's going to tell, unless they attack us, yeah. all it's going to tell tell us is, oh, yeah, there's things out there. Yeah. Great. Cool. Cool. We're not what are you, you going to offer us anything or do you need help? What's the deal? You know what? I think if anything, <laughs> it could have a net positive effect because i like those utopian movies star trek coming back around where like aliens make first contact and we're like oh like we need to band the fuck together yeah. people of earth like we need like our our technology is you want an independence i day. want independence day i want it to be real <laughs> i don't want a lot of people to die certainly um but yeah yeah i think that like that could have a maybe that's what the government doesn't want is that positive effect of people coming that's the only together end. but then why i don't know i mean i get there how do you make money off of that i mean i get how you make money off of uh people freaking out well lobbyists and like you know gun control and owning the, oh, the nra would be thrilled yeah they'd be thrilled i mean farm pharmaceuticals like i get all that and why they're keeping that under wraps and why our government's evil but aliens yeah mm. yeah well. i don't know um, okay. Well, I do. What do you want to do? What do you want, want to touch on? Well, okay. Worst There's guess part of me. <laughs> no, you're killing. <laughs> no, no, no. You were certainly not the worst. Guess. <laughs> uh, Mikey. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. You're calling him out. You're calling him out. <laughs> He's my dear friend. And he would agree. <laughs> <laughs> he came in like, I don't know anything about this. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, no, funny. he had a hilarious bit prepared and it was great. Um, I think that there's a little bit of this theory that is a tiny bit racist. Oh. Because. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. But yeah. Go for it. I mean, it's sort of just an overarching thing of like almost none of this theory touches on like Western cultures. It's not like ancient Greece so much, unless it's like all the gods of all the cultures are just mm -hmm. aliens. It's mostly like. How could a bunch of South Americans make carvings? They're dumb idiots. Like, yeah. there's like a little bit of overtones to this that are like every culture that they point out that's like it doesn't make any sense that they could build this is like brown and yep. poor. It's not. A, it's not a European, European or Western. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty horrible. <laughs> pretty horrible. But then there's this one where I found. Oh yeah. Where oh, it's this sh shaman from Africa. Oh, where where have it? I have it real fast. Oh, man. Like a guy who's around now? Yeah, he's Ooh. currently alive. I, I, at least I think he's alive because you can listen to him talk. Oh man, he's I a, like this. He's definitely like a David Icke guy. Yeah. And they talk about the whole alien, but part of his thing is, oh, is this it? Yeah, this is it right here. This guy named um, Credo Mutwa M U T W A. He, it's crazy. So there's a name for when the Europeans showed up. They called Mzungo, M Z U N G O G U, and apparently they. This theory is this the shot. The Zulu shaman mm. claims that that's what they looked like, mm. blue eyed and everything. Very interesting. And so it, he's saying like the aliens came and they looked like white people. Yeah, that's what they looked like was white, and that's why. So the theory is that. They when they so when they showed up Europeans, they thought it was the return of these aliens that actually helped them out. Oh, and damn. maybe that's why they also didn't see them as a threat originally. Interesting, like with the uh, Columbus thing, where like or we mean, or no, um, you, no, you mean uh, the Cortez, Cortez, similar yeah. because there, weirdly, their like statues too were all like blue eyed. Oh, that is gnar. So that's that's another thing that's very fascinating is that why are the statues blue eyes? Yeah, of like Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, okay. Yeah. That's, so that's pretty weird. That is, I think that's super weird. Like, why? I mean, I don't know how much that is true, but it's, yeah, it's very racist. <laughs> um, well, that part is pretty cool because it is people from cultures who aren't white Americans being like, nah, man. 
this might be real. Yeah. Which I think is pretty rare in conspiracy theories because it's usually white Americans. Yeah. But then be be aware with that shaman guy. He also believes in like the 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 fourth dimension battle happening. What is a fourth dimension oh, battle? Oh, it's a whole David Icke thing about oh, that's yeah. where the that's where the reptile like the reptile race fights us. <laughs> so it, yes, yes. You probably heard about the rep. Yeah, people, but they control us by our chakras, apparently. Okay. But then they're also battling another. They're the evil, and then there's a bad, they're battling on like a gorilla, yes, yes. like culture <laughs> that's in that fourth dimension. It's, I love it all. I've never been more thrilled in my whole life. <laughs> so he plays into all of that, and that's like his whole thing is like those aliens that came. It, that was all part of it. Yes. There's a, a a hidden battle, a hidden war going on at all times. Phenomenal. All right. Everybody's loco, and it doesn't matter what country they're from. It really doesn't. I mean, there's still racism in there. Yeah. But yeah. everybody's crazy. I just thought that was kind of an interesting. I think it is. Because I do think what you're, I think you're right. It's like, ugh, how could they have done this? Yeah. And it's like, well, what have we done? Yeah. What has Western civilization done? We built fucking ugly buildings. <laughs> Like we yeah. did it too. How That's if we're thing, capable like, we, now doing it? Don't tell me just because we didn't have they didn't have cranes. Yeah, people find a way to do stuff. And it's like why 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 don't any of these theories touch on like how did they build the Colosseum? That doesn't make any sense. They were this primitive culture compared to us. It's like only the Aztecs and the Yorubans. You built fucking castles. Yeah. Like I get they're smaller bricks, but yeah. the time that was put into that has to be insane, even Absolutely. compared to a pyramid. Yeah. And, like, how did we think of unicorns? Mm, must be an alien. Like, that makes us, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Are there any other things you want to touch on? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. If I did, I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll send in a, yeah. a voice a voice thing you guys can add. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. that <laughs> we, would do, be, we could do it. That would be insane. <laughs> that would be fun. It would be a little bonus feature on the podcast. I, I wanted to, I mean, I... Maybe well, I'll start doing that after afterwards where people, when they're, you know, that driving home feeling where you're like, oh, well, I should funny. have said Don't, this argument. I wouldn't open that. Thing. I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, you're very, that's very nice. I would not open up that gate. That's fair. Uh... <laughs> uh yeah, I don't know. I just think all the artifacts they point out are funny to me. Yeah. Because I'm like, yeah, I could see it in there, but that could be anything. Do you want to name some fun ones and I'll put pictures up on the uh, website? Blah, 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 blah. I don't have them off the top, but I'll, I'll, I'll share them with you. Yeah, yeah. I'll share them because I don't know the names of all of them. Like, you knew the name of that, the, uh, the Pakals. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I couldn't remember I it. just loved looking at them. It was a blast. Yeah. But you're like, I get it. I can see it. Yeah, but, it is dude, weird. I, but I don't immediately see it right away unless yeah. you tell me um but then there's that weird one i wasn't able to explore of like apparently mines like warped their skulls oh, into yeah. looking long yeah and i was like i don't get that like i can't i didn't get a t- chance to look further into that did you some yeah Cause i'm like why would you do that or is that just a, or is that just a disease that you just do you know what i mean because we still have I hate the term, but pinheads. Mm-hmm. Pinheads can happen. Yeah, microcephaly, Zika. Yeah. yeah. You knew the real term. I'm sorry <laughs> I'm that I just you. threw it in your face. Yeah. No, no, I like you did. You put me in my place. No, I called no. them pinheads. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, yeah. I and Okay, there was one thing about that that was weird to me, which was that they were like they were saying like it's like a skull modification and it was like the upper classes would do it to be like, look at our giant foreheads. Yeah. Um. But then there was one article that was like, the only thing inexplicable about this is that like changing the shape of a skull when someone is a baby, yes, you can do that because our heads are like kind of soft when we're born. But what doesn't make sense is that they changed the volume of some of the skulls, which is not a thing you can do. You can't just like give a skull more volume. And they were like, some of these skulls had like 20% more space in them than like a normal human skull. So they're not human. They're aliens. No, no. (laughs) (laughs) And scene. (laughs) Um, All right, fair. What were they? What? what, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. But that was from a conspiracy theory website. So maybe a real scientist would be like, no, it's not a thing. I wish there was like a great scientist, like someone like what's his name that's annoying. Even though I, I like his show, I think he's annoying. Bill Nye? No, oh, Bill Nye's not annoying. Okay. Uh, do you find him annoying? No. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Degrassi. 
Degrassi, he he, oh, he, he, uh, he gets on my nerves the way he talks. Yeah. Because he, Why? he, cause he I feel like he's talking down to me. Mm. Like Carl Sagan, I think, and, uh, and there's a couple of British guys I don't know, but that Alex Berg in, like, uh, introduced me to, yeah. feel like they're excited. They're like, I want to show you this. Come along. I'm going to show you. Degrassi's like, I'm going to show you this and then talk down. Like, you should have known this. On, like, the new that cosmos, cosmos? Yeah. I couldn't get through that show because I kept feeling like I'm being reprimanded for not knowing what <laughs> he's telling me. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, okay, this is, this, this feels like I'm taking a, like, a beating. A, <laughs> like, why? Of, do you, like, hey, you don't, like, I would explain string theory to you, but you wouldn't get it. Yeah. You, or he'll explain it to baby. you, but he's like, you should have, you should have, you should have done this on your own. You shouldn't have, <laughs> you shouldn't have had to wait. This should have been interesting, more interesting. Like, there's a there's a moment where he's all, he says in the, in the episode, like, I think the first episode, he's all, you know, in our culture. Oh, boy. People, more people know all the names of serial killers than any astrologers. Think about that. And I was just like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. I don't know those names. I don't know any of them. Yeah. Stop, Stop yelling at me. Yeah, I was just like, but I feel like that's the whole thing. It's just, he's like, I'm telling you this, but you should have been, you should have taken the time to find this out on your own. Yeah. And I'm just like, good God, man. Like, Rude. Just, I, like this stuff's exciting. Just you get excited for, like, we're all watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the world's watching you, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. All right. You feel good? I mean, I feel okay. <laughs> I feel, I feel, I'm, I'm probably like a tear above Mikey. Okay. <laughs> Bless his little heart. Okay, well, this is a part of the podcast where I have to take a moment to mull over what we've talked about okay. and how much I do believe this theory and how much I want to believe, like how much more it makes the world magical. Um, but while I do that, I need you to keep the people entertained for just a second. Okay. So I'm going to I want to just like take off the headphones and just like go into my mind palace. And you just do you ever use story. memory palaces? No, I tried it one time, and I was like, I'm confused. Yeah, <laughs> my I, brain is not clear and and sturdy enough for that. Have I'm you tried? Of, no. Okay. I like think I think it's interesting, but yeah, I think it's cool. If my memory already doesn't work, why would that? If, if I don't have right. a good memory, why would that help it? I think you have to start out at a strong place. Oh man, what should I talk about while I don't you're know. thinking? You can tell a fun story. You can sing a little song, which scares you, but you know it's good to be scared. Song? Nah. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not th- I don't. I don't get. I'm not into scary movies. Okay. I'm trying to think what what alien movies have come out recently? Not Independence Day though. Oh, oh! I'll talk about this. How I think that Prometheus. I was talking about this um, with uh, Ryan's uh, girlfriend before you got. We started. How, um, because of my diving into this theory, it made me understand the movie Prometheus. Because Prometheus, a lot of times, everybody will like watch it and say, this is really pretty, well acted, but I don't get what the hell's going on. But I, when I started getting into this, this theory of the alien astronaut, I was like, oh, this is what this movie's about. This was exactly what all Prometheus is about is, it's, I think, is that in the world of alien, that they're stating in Prometheus that this theory is true. Because that's what the big black, the I can't remember what they actually are called in the alien universe, but those big white aliens. At the beginning, he takes like the black, he eats some weird black thing and it incinerates him. I think that is their explanation of like why we don't have an actual trace of the aliens that touched us. I think they manipulated our DNA, and then the movie Prometheus is about them going, we're going to go find them. That this is true. We actually were touched by these aliens, and then Prometheus is them seeking out to find those aliens. It's just this theory put into science fiction. That's right. Movie. That's a very. It made me theory. sort of enjoy that movie a little, or at least think about it. And go, no, it's not that bad. I mean, I, <laughs> I Damon Lindelof. Prometheus. Damon Lindelof can drive me nuts as a screenwriter. I think he leaves too many questions on the floor. Hmm. And because he just doesn't give a shit. I I think so. Or he just doesn't. Yeah, he just is like mystery's fine. And I'm like, to a degree, you need to fill in some for me. Yeah, do a little of the work. But I very much think that's what this, I think they just took the ancient and were like, what if this was true? Yeah. And then they threw it into that movie. That's fun. That makes me want to watch that movie again. Sure, cool, we can do it right now. All right. <laughs> Screw Wee Spa. You got iTunes, Brian? Because <laughs> we're going to use it on your credit card. <laughs>
<laughs> Movie day. All right, you mold it over. I mold it. All right. <clears throat> In terms of how much I want to believe this, which has been a lot of our conversation. <laughs> I did not. And it's been fun. Great <laughs> defense for no, this. No, I think you did because out of 10 Mormon angels, I'm going to give it. A seven. Wow, a seven. It's pretty high. That's, I'm very shocked by that. Yeah. That, that, well, I, that. Think you, I think you made a good argument about how, like, isn't this A, fun and whimsical, and B, won't hurt us to believe? It wouldn't. Yeah. You're hundred. I, I agree. Like, it would not hurt us. It wouldn't change the way our world works. Yeah, it would just be a little extra whimsy. Yeah, it'd be like, oh, wow, like, something helped us along the way. Yeah, the universe cares about us. I think that's part of it, too. Yeah. Someone cares. It doesn't change the fact that we have great minds yeah. throughout history. And I'm not giving it a 10 because 30% of me is still like, no, nah, I want to believe in human potential. I, but I would, I would argue mm-hmm. that even if that is there, it doesn't eliminate our potential. Because I would say, I, if I had to pick, because there's sort of branches of this theory, I don't believe, I fully probably don't believe that the aliens built the pyramids. Yeah. I think humankind did that. But... I'll, I'll, I'll open for the fact that, like, they actually visited earlier and they were influenced by that. Yeah. Like, maybe I w- I'll buy into that. Like, that's where the idea of these their gods came from or like, or, like, gave them those images. It's like, oh, this thing showed up and talked to us. But I don't think they showed up or like, you know what? <laughs> we're going to build all this shit yeah, for you. Yeah, here we I go with d- our laser beams and our tractors. I don't buy any of that. Okay. I still think okay, that okay. Egyptians built the pyramids. I think the mines built their pyramid. I think everything was built by humans. It's just there there possibly was an interaction with an alien astronaut. All right. <laughs> well, then in terms of do believe, which is how much I am convinced by this conversation, okay. out of 10 mysterious blue-eyed statues, I, I got to give it a three. Well, I'm okay with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look at me like I'm going to be disappointed. I'm so sorry. If this is my own theory that I came up with, then yeah. maybe I would be like heartbroken. <laughs> yeah. This is why I like having people on who don't actually believe these things too seriously because I don't want them to be like, fuck you. I'm out of here. You wasted my time. Yeah. You came here to make me look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Make smart people look stupid. <laughs> well, I'm already stupid, so you can't make me look... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I can only get made look. I can only be made to look smart because I'm always dumb. So. When you start, start at the bottom. Yep, yeah. stay at the bottom. You always. Everybody thinks you can do better. <laughs> Never climb up. Ugh. <laughs> oh, well, is there anything we're reaching the end? Is there anything you want people to know about that you're working on? Come to your sketch shows. Listen to your podcast. Yeah, l- check out my podcast. I will watch anything once. It's a conversations about movies that have been missed or avoided, and. Uh, yeah, check out my um, improv team called Copycat. It's on the second Thursday of Super every funny. month. At UCB Franklin? Yep, UCB Franklin. In at 7 Los Angeles, PM. California. Mm-hmm. It's a team where we have a guest team that performs, and then we, Copycat, attempt to perform the same exact set, and it gets real weird because it's pretty impossible. Yeah. But, it, but that causes new comedy to emerge. Um, and then check out my indie show, The Manifesto Show, every Friday. Such a blast. Thanks. 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. free show at the clubhouse in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. I think that's it. Other than if you're out there, you need like a short, funny guy, cast me. He's uh, so tell good. casting directors to like bring me in more. He was in a short thing that I worked on. Oh, when is so that coming out, funny. by the way? We're still editing it. Who knows? That Maybe never. Quiet. No, don't tell me that. <laughs> it was very fun. And boys... And girls, he learns lines like it's uh, his job, which in fact it is. That's nice of you to say because I felt like the last couple of sketch shows I, I had, I was like, oh man, I'm botched. <laughs> I just like mentally was like not ready. But then I did a, I just did a show that it really killed. Aww. I don't know why I said that. I'm but, really happy about that. But I don't know. Just keep a lookout for me. You yeah. know, even though it's a mundane world full of pain, I'm still <laughs> trying to make people laugh. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> trying to just overpower all those feelings and keep keep on creating. <laughs> you got to keep creating. Yeah. Um, real quick, I want to shout out some Twitter angels who tweeted about Ooh. the podcast or tweeted at us. Billy Pritchett, Zach Walt, Lisa Kate, which is an incredible last name. Sarah Bojo, Rachel Cohen, you're my sweet babies. Mark, oh God, I'm so sorry. 
last name. Um, if you want to tweet at us, you could tweet at What's a Creative or Caitlin, your friend you are, and be like, your podcast bites ass, and I'll cry. Uh, yeah, yeah. And tweet at me if you hated this episode. <laughs> Mark David Christensen. <laughs> at Hobbit138. <138. laughs> That's incredible. Just tell me everything you think about me. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to really use some graphic language. Uh, yeah, holler at everybody who's left us a review on iTunes. Thank you so much. And tweeted about it. I, I, love, I love you. You're my little babies. Um, all right. A little creepy at the end. <laughs> <laughs> angels to me, as soon as you called them Twitter angels, I was like, are they like, I equated them to like, and during the holidays when they do those like trees at like shopping malls mm-hmm. where you're the little angels you can like donate Give a child to a fact, toy but it's an angel so it's just it's just it's, it implies they're gonna die soon <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's like these twitter angels you're just like thanks for your uh before your last moments thanks for <laughs> giving our little what podcast a boost this podcast was like the ring where once you listen to it you die <laughs> <laughs> i'd i'd love it I'd love it. I'd share it with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. Well, thank David you for Christian. having me. It was a pleasure. Tight. Bye. Thanks for listening to Lizard People. I've been your host, Caitlin Hempstead. And if you're interested in supporting the show, you can subscribe on iTunes and Stitcher. Bye. It's a creative podcast network.